guys, it's Tecmo here with Nicole Augusta, and one of the things I like doing is garage sailing, and I found this Polaroid camera from 1978 or 79 for five bucks, and the lady said she thought it worked, and she's right. You can buy this like third-party film from a company called Impossible, and it's about three bucks a shot, so it's kind of expensive, and I've been messing around trying to find the right settings, but I haven't quite gotten there yet, so I'm going to try again. So one of the things that's really annoying about this is you're looking through this viewfinder, but your lens is actually over here. So you actually kind of want to go to the side of it because it's going to be shooting down here instead of where you're looking. And the filmmakers recommend immediately putting it in a dark place to develop but I found that wasn't always working. And this, the downside is it takes about 30 to 40 minutes, whereas traditional Polaroid film took like two minutes. All right, so Impossible actually recommends putting it face down in a dark place to develop within the first 10 seconds. I did that on my first view and they turned out way too dark. You couldn't even really make out what was in the picture. So instead I've been developing it in a sort of dimly lit room so it does get some light. And that's what's been making them turn out so much lighter. Um, I'm not going to turn the light on because I don't want to overly expose it, but hopefully it'll help. So in about 30 minutes, we'll check back and see what's going on. These are all the ones that I took and then put in a dark drawer to develop. And as you see, they're super dark, like you can't even see what was on there. They also were all taken inside, um, so that might have been part of it, but I was very careful about making sure there was a ton of light. I had the lights on, it seemed bright enough, but my outdoor ones so far are the only ones that have come out close to what they should be. So this one turned out a bit overexposed too, but I imagine if I had more time and money, I could eventually perfect this. And also part of the charm of Polaroids is that they don't look like our perfect digital pictures now. So I hope you were as amused by this as I was. Um, as always, if you like my stuff, please subscribe and see you next time.